All right, so I've tried a lot of different earbuds and these right here have been handies, Old Faithfuls for $11. I think maybe 11 or 12 bucks. And I had them connected to the back of my um, Rodecaster with this. But they're easily out of your way uh, because they go behind the ear and this goes behind my head and I just tighten it up to make sure it doesn't show. But they've started getting bad. So now I have these new Behringer SD251 CLs. And we're gonna see, oh, nice. Nice little case, kinda like that, I'm digging it. Let's see how this works. I use these for my live streams for when I am going live with a, a guest, but lately I found myself needing headbuds even more because I use them for a recording to make sure that the sound and the editing is working out well. Let me move this other one out of the way. And I'll show you why I need the adapter, this little adapter. So the adapter is because we need to make this fit in the back of the Rodecaster. So we'll pop that on like that. And that way now it'll go in the back of the Rodecaster and serve as earbuds. So now I gotta test the sound. I can see these look definitely a little bit different. Maybe taking up a little bit more space on my ear so it'll probably be more obvious. We'll compare the two. All right, so I'm gonna show you the comparison um, and I wanna show you how these look. So I know a lot of people like the big giant, you know, earphones. That's never been me. I'm a person who has really tiny ears. I don't even have a true earlobe. It just connects directly to my head um, and my face. And I get annoyed quickly when something is on my ears too much, if it irritates me. So these are the first ones and these are the Me or M-E-E -E Audio M6 wired earbuds okay these are the ones that i have that i paid 12 bucks for and i can share the link with you in case you want to try them because they've worked for me for some time what i'm using them for particularly is just for in-ear monitoring i don't want to have the echo when i have people that i'm interviewing for my live streams but i don't want the huge earphones and i definitely don't want to use bluetooth or anything that's like not wired because it could potentially go out in the middle of my stream. And so I don't want to risk that. So these are wired, okay? And they go behind my ears and these are the old ones. And I'm gonna show you how I'm putting them on. And so just tighten them up in the back. And you can't even tell I have them on. You can barely tell unless I, you know, go my do my head to the side like this. But they're very inconspicuous. So when I'm talking to people directly to the camera, like this when I'm talking on the live stream. It's very stealth, <laughs> right? It's not messing up my hair. It's not creating a big bulge, none of that. And the way I had to connect them was like I showed you, I had an adapter. But here's something that is fun for you to know about the new pair. So I'll pull those next. Okay, so the new pair are 39, 40 bucks. Still really inexpensive, not super pricey like some of the bigger, badder ones are. This one's a Behringer, <clears throat> which is still a pretty good company when it comes to um, this type of equipment. But here's what I'm gonna show you that's different. One, I'm gonna show you the look. Do that, I gotta remember which one's right and which one. That This is a little bit harder to determine and they sit a little funny. But I'm gonna see if I can show so I ha it took me a little bit longer to figure out how these sit in your ear. And I do think I'm gonna need to get a smaller, the little pills that are on the bot end. I need to choose a smaller one, cause again, I have tiny ears. But let's just see how much real estate this takes up. Okay, the sound quality is pretty decent. It's, it's better than the $12 ones, how about that? Okay, so there's that. Okay, tighten it up. So yeah, you can see it a little bit more not as easy to hide but I'm molding it to my ear a little bit and it's not too bad I keep hearing this popping noise because I think like I said that little pill that goes on the end that you pop into you know protect your ears it's a little bigger than I so I'm gonna fix that and it does take up more space but again I'm looking directly at the camera I'm not trying to you know turn my head all the time and um, what I still like is that I have the option of pulling clear you can do clear or you can do black from what I saw. I always do clear with the white, you know, I'm just calling it a pill, but that's not really what it's on the end. Now, here's something else that's cool about this that I wanted to show you. 
I think you saw this in my unboxing that there's a case. So that's actually a little bit more high class. Still only 40 bucks, but a little bit more high class than my $11 one. It does have these smaller pills, so I can choose from these. Uh, I see the one that, that I need, so I'll be changing. Um, and it has an adapter already with it. So instead of me having to purchase one like I did before, it already had one in it for me to attach to my Rodecaster. So I could just use the one that they have or I'm keeping the one that I already bought anyway. I'll have this as a backup. This is what it looks like. And here is a little, <laughs> what do they call these things? Um, carabiner, a small carabiner. So you can put that on the bag. Now this is something that's neat and I didn't know what it was until somebody showed me <laughs> on a video. But see this little tiny tool right here? This allows you to clean out. So as if this gets dirty, you can actually pull it apart from the cable and you can get down in there and clean out any type of dirt, which I like, I like that. I like things to get all yucky. Um, it also has the black versions of those pills that I was talking about. I gotta find the proper name for it, but you, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and let me just pull one out so you can, but I use the white just to go along with the whole clear theme, but you could probably use black too. I don't think it's gonna change this. So this is still sticking out a little bit more on one side. I make sure I get it in there real good after I uh, put the new size on. That's it. I just wanted to show you what I am using now is a SD251CL. This may be backwards, I'll try to flip it. But the SD251CL, these are studio monitoring earphones and they are, I didn't see them on sale, but I'll put the link below. What I did notice is that they are reasonably priced and that's what I was looking for is reasonably priced, something that will allow me to do the in-ear monitoring during my streams and prevent the whole echo thing of having when you have a guest on. So I'll be checking that more frequently. I am not an audiophile. I am not an audio head, so I'm just sharing with you, in case those of you like me are amateurs when it comes to audio, what can work to help you with your life. All right, that's what I got. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Tanya Smith, Stream Like a Boss TV. Take care.